Good morning, my lunchies and rough dogs. All right, so happy Monday. This week is, what week is it? It's insects and bugs. And to get started this week, we're gonna have Miss Amanda do our good morning songs, our music and movement. Then we'll have me, Miss Tessa, do calendar with you. And then we'll have Miss Vanessa read a story. And today is Monday, which means we have an interactive activity, and that will be with Miss Amanda. We're going to guess the insect. All right, so I'm going to spotlight Miss Amanda so we can get started. All right, my friends. Yes, I am. Uh, I am not muted. All right, so we are going to start with a name song, and I know we started a new name song on Friday called Who Do We Appreciate? So I thought I'd start off the week with that. Um, I'm not really sure who's at the school right now, so if someone could like chat that to me, that would be great, because I don't know who's there. All right, but I will start today with Emily, looks like she's ready, so I'm going to appreciate Emily. The song goes like this, two, four, six, eight, who do we appreciate? Emily, go, 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 Emily, yay. All right, ooh, I think Reese looks ready. <gasps> Two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? We go, 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 Reese. Yay! I'm so glad you're here, Reese. All right, I'm gonna go for Grady. Two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? Grady, go, 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 Grady. Yeah! Grady's giving me some dance moves. Reese and Grady are ready to party. Love it. I appreciate you too. All right, Ben and Lily. Two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? Lily, go, 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 Lily. And I see that Lily is working hard building something right now. That's so cool. I appreciate that, Lily. And next, two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? Ben, go, 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 Ben. Yay. And now I'm going to go to my friends at school. I know Miley's there. Ready? Two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? Marley, go, 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 Marley. Yay. And next, my friend, that starts with an A. Two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? Adeline, go, 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 Adeline. Yay. Hi, Adeline. And I have a friend that starts with an L. La, la. Two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? Liam. Go, 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 Liam. All right, my friends, let's do the teachers next. Ready? Two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? Chrissy. Go, 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 Chrissy. Ooh, Chrissy's giving me her dance moves. And next. Two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? Tessa. Go, 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 Tessa. Tessa's got some sparkle fingers, and I saw Grady was dancing along. I love it. All right, my friends, we are going to move on to our good morning songs. So let's get our hands warmed up. I'm going to take a breath because I have to go off energy for me. Oh, all right. One, two, three. Good morning, good morning. How are you? How are you? Very well, I think you. Very well, I think you. How about you? How about you? Good job, my friends. Give me some sparkle fingers like Miss Tessa was doing earlier. All right, let's do it in Espanol. Ready? Uno, dos, tres. Buenos días, buenos días. ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cómo estás? Muy bien, gracias. Muy bien, gracias. Y usted, y usted. Good job, my friends. Give me a sign language clap. Yay! And our last one in Mandarin. Ready? Yi, e, san, sao, shang, hao. Zhao Shang Hao, Ni Hao Ma, Ni Hao Ma, Wo Hen Hao Xie Xie, Wo Hen Hao Xie Xie, Ni Na, Ni Na. Good job, my friends. Give me a round of applause. Good job. All right, we are going to do our movement, but we are actually going to start sitting down today for our movement. And since it is Insect Week, 
we're gonna do some insect movement. So first, we are going to start with our butterfly pose. Look, I'm even wearing a butterfly uh, shirt. And so we're gonna sit crisscross applesauce. Actually, we can put our feet together. And we're going to flap our legs like a butterfly. Who can do it with me? Let's see. Oh, Miss Chrissy's got it. Good job, my friends. Oh, Reese has got it. Nice. All right, so we're flapping our legs like a butterfly. We warmed up our leg. legs. Now let's warm up our hands. Put your hands into a fist, and we're going to blink like a firefly, because fireflies can glow. So cool. We're gonna blink like a firefly. Good job. And we warmed up our hands. Let's warm up our arms. I forgot what I was gonna do for this. What insect fly? Oh, there we go. It, it was a spider. <laughs> um, a spider isn't an insect, it's an arachnid, but it's kind of like an insect. So we're going to spin a web like a spider. There we go. I remembered it. Spin, 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 spin. Good job, my friends. That takes some hand-eye coordination. All right, what's next? We are going to now get up. So now we can get on our feet. Boop. We are going to start by marching like an ant. March, march, march. Ants work so hard. They march everywhere. March, march, march like an ant. Good job, my friends. Oh, I think Grady has something cool to share. Maybe we can share that at the end, Grady. That looks so cool. I'm so curious about it. All right, we're gonna do something really cool. I have a feeling Reese and Grady will be really good at this. So. This is jump like a grasshopper. And I know that last week we were doing jump like a frog, but I noticed that all of you are so good at that already. Oh my gosh, you're too good. So we're gonna make it a little harder. We're going to jump like a grasshopper and we're going to jump as far as we can to another spot. Can you do it? Ready? One, two, three, jump to another spot. Good job, my friends. Maybe we can do it one more time, ready? One, two, three, jump! Good job! You are so skilled. All right, we have one more. And this I'm gonna talk about later during interactive, but I know that before we've talked about how bees talk to each other. Bees do buzz, they go bzzz, and that's one way they can talk to each other, but they also dance to talk to each other. And they do something called the waggle dance. It's super cool. Can everyone say waggle dance? Good job, my friends. So what bees will do is they shake their little, I think this, this is actually their ab abdomen. So they shake their abdomen around. They shake their abdomen around. And that's one way that they talk to each other and tell each other where the honey is. So let's all shake around. Shake, shake, shake. Do your waggle dance. Do your waggle dance. Thank you, Shake, 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 shake. Good job, my friends. All right, we can sit back down. We're gonna do one more song before we move on to Miss Dessa. So I'm gonna take a seat. And I'm gonna take a breath too. That's the movement I like to take a breath. Ready? In, out. Good job. We're gonna do our love and hug song. And you know how to do the sign language for I love you. If you don't know how to do that, that's okay. You can put your hands on your heart. You can make a heart with your hands. You can do what you want. I'm gonna use my sign language. Ready? L-O-V-E spells love. L-O-V-E spells love. L-O-V-E, L-O-V-E. L-O-V-E spells love. And we're gonna give ourselves a big hug. You know what, I think it was Adeline who actually like came up with this part of the song. This was a part of my original song. And we're gonna give ourselves a big hug and say, I love you, me. And we're gonna spell hug, ready? H-U-G spells hug. H-U-G spells hug. H-U-G, H-U-G. H U G spells hug. Here it says one more big squeeze. And we're gonna transition to Miss Tessa. Can we give her a 
Virtual hug, ready? Give Miss Tessa a virtual hug, go! Yay! <laughs> all right. <laughs> Thank you for all the hugs, my friends. Oh, I miss my hugs. So let's go into calendar, starting with our month. Let's see. What's our month here? Starting with the letter M, making the M sound. May. And look, we have a little insect right here. What do we have here? Can someone tell me what they see? Is that a bumblebee? Bumblebee. bumblebee. Then we're going to go to our year. Oh, it's stuck. There we go. Our year. And can you tell me what our year is? I see my friend saying 2020. But we can also say 2020. And we're gonna go to our season. Our season is, starting with the letter S, spring. You guys knew that, let's see. Do we have any buggies in here? No, nope, just flowers. I was checking to see if there was any bees in this picture. Let's go ahead and count our days. We're getting towards the bottom of the calendar, so we have a lot to count. Are you ready? Can I get some thumbs up? We're all ready. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18. Good job, my friends. Today is the 18th. And what two numbers do we have in 18? Starting with this one. The number one. Show me one finger. Can you wiggle it? Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Wiggle worm. And then we have the letter number. Eight. Can you guys show me eight fingers? So we have five on this hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're gonna hold it this way. Eight. Eighteen. We put it back on the calendar and we slide up. Here's our day of the week. So let's go ahead and sing our song when we hand up. Days of the week. Days of the week. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. Days of the week. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Thank you for singing with me. So we would start with three cards. The first card is our yesterday card. Our second card is our today card, and our third one is our tomorrow card. Remember that. So what is our first card? This is our yesterday card. See up here in red it says yesterday, starting with the letter Y, which is that Y, Y, yesterday sound, word. And then we have our day of the week here, which has this letter, you guys know this letter? S, and what does the S sound make? Like a snake. So yesterday was Sunday, Sunday. And do we remember our sign language for Sunday? I need two hands for this one. Are you ready? Sunday. Sunday. Good job. Then we're gonna go to our second card. Do you guys remember what our second card has? What's this word in red here? Starts with the letter T, which is the T, T. Today. This is our today card. So what's today, my friends? Starting with the letter M. Mmm. Mmm. 
Monday. Today is Monday. Happy Monday, my friends. And what's our sign for Monday? We only need one hand. We make our M. It goes under that third finger there. Squeeze. Turn it to you and circle. Monday. And last but not least, we have our third card. And our third card tells us what tomorrow will be. Remember that T in the front has that T sound. Tomorrow, and this is our day of the week, which also starts with the T, so that's that T sound. So tomorrow will be Tuesday. Tuesday. And do you guys remember your sign for Tuesday? You make the letter T. Let me see those letter T's. Yep, we make our T and we turn it and we circle. Thank you, Tuesday. All right, let's go ahead and recap our day today. I'll say it. You show me those listening ears and listen up. We ready? Today is Monday, May 18th. 2020. All right, now I want you to say it out loud so I can hear you. Today is Monday, May 18th, 2020. Good job, my friends. Thank you. So now we're going to have Miss Vanessa read a story. Hello, friends. We're going to read a story about a butterfly. We're a caterpillar turning into a butterfly. It's called Caterpillar to the Butterfly. And the author does what for the story? That's right, they write the words. And this author is Melissa Stewart. And since I can't see another name anywhere, we're also going to assume that she is the illustrator. What does the illustrator do for a book? Hmm, they draw the pictures or they get the pictures together. Maybe they found the pictures and didn't draw them. A butterfly goes through many changes in its life cycle. It looks at the trans, let's look at the transformation. This butterfly is laying eggs. That is how a butterfly makes more butterflies. Laying eggs. A caterpillar hatches from an egg. See the little pillar? It's just a baby. The caterpillar eats and eats. It grows and grows. Look how big it got. Then it stops eating. It stops growing. It looks for a safe place and it turns into, what do you think it's gonna turn into? You can see it right here. A pupa. The pupa is wrapped in a case called chrysalis, but we also call it a cocoon. I think that's what we know it as, the little cocoon. A pupa goes through many changes inside the chrysalis or the cocoon. It already changed. On this page, the cocoon was green and it's already showing colors. It turns into a butterfly. You see it? The butterfly breaks free from the chrysalis or the, the cocoon. This used to be the chrysalis. Look how tiny and how big the butterfly got. It opens its wings to warm them in the sun, a butterfly's body needs to be warm to fly. 
So if they're wet and cold, they can't fly. They need to be dry. Fly, butterfly, fly. All done. That's the end of my book. It's a short book, but I thought you guys would like it. It kind of reminds me of the book we read, The Hungry Caterpillar, how it goes through all the stuff he eats and then it becomes a butterfly. This one just uses real pictures and not too much food. No ice cream or cookies or cake or pie. <laughs> None of those. But that's the end of my story. And I'm going to pin Miss Amanda because she is going to do the interactive for today. So I'm pinning her video. And then let me see. Sorry. I'm gonna unmute her too. All right. Sorry, thank you. Sorry. Amanda. Not pinned yet. Um <laughs> oh wait. No, I'm on spotlight? Why are we? Okay. Mine won't show it, but whatever. I it's not showing it. you. Yeah, no, but that's okay. I'll just put it on gallery view. It's fine. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Is it now? Yeah. All okay. Right. Thank you. All right, my friends. Hey, Reese, I noticed you were very focused during that circle time. Thanks, Reese. Um, and I see Ben and Lily are ready for my interactive activity and Grady. So we are going to do something that is very similar to what we did last week where we were guessing the reptiles. So I need your thinking caps on so that when I give you a clue and you think, oh, I think I know what that insect is. You can raise your hand and I will pick you to guess what the insect is. All right, so put your listening ears on. I'm turning the volume up. All right, <laughs> thanks, Reese. All right, this insect is red and it has black spots and you often find them on leaves. <gasps> Does anyone have a guess yet? <gasps> Takes a while, sorry. All right, one, two, three. Look at that ladybug. And I have some facts for you for each of these insects. Just one thing that I think that I found out that's kind of interesting. So in Russia, um, in, in the Russian language, they actually call the ladybug a little cow. Isn't that so silly? I guess I kind of understand because it does look like a cow with its spots. It's just a differently colored cow. But in Russian, they call it little cow. That's pretty cool. All right, next one. Hmm, all right, this is Miss Amanda's favorite. So <laughs> if you know that, <laughs> you've got it. It loves flowers and it buzzes. Ooh. Marley quite of food and they often come in big colonies and work together. Hmm. What insect could this be? Raise a quiet hand if you think you know. That's, that's how they look like up close. You never really think about it because they're so small. Look at those eyeballs. So something I learned about ants is that they have lived on this on this earth for a very long time and that they used to live at the same time that dinosaurs lived. So while these really big creatures were on the earth, these tiny, tiny ants were also working together and living on the earth too. That's so cool. So awesome. I think Lily has something to say about that. Lily, we're